You know I'm a big fan of Casetify, but like I always say on this channel, I have to re-evaluate cases every year to know if they're still good. Now these cases aren't cheap, the bounce case here was 94 euros and the impact was 84 euros. So with that price point, I'm always a little extra critical. The most important thing is, do they deliver? And I still think Caseify offers a lot of quality for that money. Both cases are extremely strong and are still the strongest I've had in my hands over the last few weeks. Now this year, I've decided to go with the Jerry Lee Bosmans design. And I love the designs he makes. Make sure to check him out too. It also looks awesome printed on there and really cannot tell the difference between the real and the 3D render. Which is not always the case with case brands or brands in general. The buttons on the bounce case are very clicky. But sadly, they did not upgrade the mute button with the new generation iPhone and just left it a cutout. Which I'm not a fan of. They should definitely upgrade with that physical button because now it's just not as easy as it should be. Now you might have noticed that the impact case has a bigger camera bump and that's not the case on the regular impact. But this ain't a regular impact. This is the impact ring stand case and you can pull out the camera bump and use it as a kickstand. Which is awesome thinking. The kickstand has magnetic closing for some good strength to it and feels overall premium made. It's probably worth the extra 10 if you're into kickstands. One thing I've noticed though is that because the camera bump is now made of a metal here, it can sound a little odd on certain materials. As if it's getting smashed. But don't worry about that. Now that I look at it, we can also take a glimpse at what the cases would look like without the Casetify camera bump with their branding. And it looks awesome, right? Maybe they should also make a few without the branding camera bump and just stick with a smaller logo. But that's just me. Next to the power button, they also made space for a lanyard if that's your thing. You can truly customize it, right? So with the bounce case, I went with the regular black side, so not the silicon black. And with the impact, I went with the silicon sides. As far as the grip goes, the silicon is definitely much better. And because it's blacked out, it won't yellow or look gross over time. Definitely don't go for clear silicon sides as they will yellow. And I've noticed that personally. So that's a warning for all those that want a clear silicon side. The regular Caseify clear case doesn't have silicon sides. So that one won't yellow. I'm only talking about the silicon sides here. The front bezel is awesome on both and has an edge on both sides so it really feels comfortable too and helps with swiping from the side since it's already angled properly. Now I do have a screen protector on there so that does take up a little space on the screen hence why it may look like their front bezel isn't as high as it used to be. MagSafe strength is awesome too so really no complaints there. Of course I've tested MagSafe charging too and it works flawlessly. Now I'm going back to the design. I'm not sure if it's intended, but I've noticed that on the impact, the design casts a shadow on the phone, which just looks awesome. Probably because it has such a thick protection plate on the back there, which you can clearly see on the previous gen clear case. Final verdict, these cases are still awesome and can definitely recommend them this year too. Make sure you use my discount code 15 unfiltered for 15% off. And if you aren't done watching, Make sure you check out this video too.